Roy, four stories doubling. We're back again. Back again. Four set of reviews for the new year. Um, just want to clarify with people, we've been kind of a little bit quiet in January. We don't know how to regroup, have things organised. There's a lot of stuff coming out this year and uh, a lot of networking has been done. So. A lot of networking, a lot of planning. It, it's, 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 it's just stuff you don't see, you know, that way. So we appreciate you all and hopefully you'll bear with us over the next while. But uh, this one we're going to sit down and take a watch. We're going to sit down and watch Roadhouse. Um, right, before we start, have you seen the original? No. I've never seen... I've never. It's, seen. it's like one of, the worst, one of the world's best 80s movies. It's... It's so terrible, but so good at the same time. I, d- I didn't know this was a remake in too long. You would actually well, check me on the phone Road the other House, day. Like, at the, like, was Patrick Swayze he was a bouncer out the south, at the, in the America South. And it's just ridiculous. But it's such an entertaining film. And mm. I hope this is the same, because I, I actually haven't seen any clips for this. That's what I was going to say. Yet. You haven't even seen the trailer for this shit either. No. So no. that's th- this got me a little bonus. So we're going to be showing the trailer now. And uh, give it a watch. We'll have a little chat about the trailer straight after it. So let, let's let's get this set up here, Paul. We give it a watch. Yeah. Play. I do like Jake Gyllenhaal. You know. Before we start, do you have insurance? What? Is your coverage good? Like do you have dental? Oh, haha. Is there a hospital nearby? Is it like too far? It's about like twenty-five minutes, I'd say. Uh, I just slapped you. Are you alright? What? <laughs> Just slaps them. <laughs> I like Jake Gyllenhaal. I do. I and do. I used to get, I used to get them confused with uh, Ryan Reynolds. A lot of actors have said, "Oh my!" Do you know what? Is that him dreaming in the UFC? No, he actually done it. He was, they, they actually put him up at it in Ireland. Conor McGregor was there in Ireland. Serious. Yeah, he's a darling. Yeah. I can pay you good money. Judging by your car, you need this. Well, I like my car. Think about it. Some it's good people behind it. Mm. Elwood Dalton, big fan. Man. That guy's got a knife under his shirt. You just take a big step back and pop me in the face. You can do it. <laughs> Tell me about this bouncing. Yeah, it's all nice, like he's Mr. Rogers or something. But then he'll haul off. <laughs> Really interesting guy, overall. Brand wants to take the roadhouse away from me. He wants to build some resort. I should warn you, people have a certain way of getting things. I like her, I do, I've seen her. Hey, fellas. Looks like you're having a smack. I got a tip for you. Don't let no one get this close. Come on, bro. So is is he McGregor's a bad guy? He done all of his own stunts for this. Well, but McGregor is capable, like in in a, a physicality and all. You would do. Once Knox is on the job, it's over, baby. It takes a lot to get me angry, but when I am, I just can't let go. <laughs> I have to say, when I heard McGregor was going to be in it, I thought like it might be hilarious, but it's actually looking really good. Is that one in front of yours? No, I just broke the arm. The fight choreography is very good. I like the MMA style on it. Now, it doesn't look too bad. Yeah. Really. Now, with the thing, I, I was very skeptical about at first when I seen it. Yeah. Conor McGregor coming into it. Now, I heard his accent in it and all, tried to sound a bit American and all, hey, fellas. Yeah. At first, I was a bit like, I don't think this is going to go well. But as I'm kind of slowly watching it, more the trailer more and more, I'm kind of like, you know what, he might not actually do a bad job. It, it, the question is, how much of McGregor was an actor before? Because a lot of what he's doing, now, it's funny enough that you actually picked this. I decided to restart the UFC and I got Fight Pass, UFC Fight Pass. Yeah. So there's like 697 recordings and I'm on number 50 and I'm a month in. So I'm up to, I think UFC 
44 at this stage. No way. Actually, yeah, I'm at UFC 44. So I'm watching it from the very beginning to what it's become now. And I think I think that alone, the UFC bit in it, is it's going to draw a, a good stage. crowd. And you have Jake Gyllenhaal. And when I heard McGregor was in it and he's the baddie, he kind of suits the baddie because he plays the baddie. He, yeah, he, he has that kind of psychotic effect and that psychotic look to him. Yeah. In this now, as you can see, jacked as fucking this. He he's he's. He jacked. doesn't he doesn't look a one fifty five fire. No way, uh, and that it, it kind of explains this film. Kind of explains as to why he, he hasn't done his fight with, with Michael Chandler as well. Also, and then he explains why he's drumming up the support of the Michael Chandler fight because mm. he knows when this comes out, he wants to have that around the same time. And Dana White is kind of out. He, he Dana White's very good at connections and the whole lot, and I, I, you can see he did, he did. It was good actually. They didn't pretend it was a like non-group. You know, yes. where they invent like yeah. it's the DFC or something mm. like that. They actually had the full. The they actually they had, had the thing. proper setups, the proper crowds, and I meant he could do that. So that's going to give that a reality to it. So I I'm liking this because, as I said, McGregor is the villain. So if he was the good guy, I thought I don't know whether he'd be able to watch yes. it. But I, I, I do have belief in Jill and all. Now I have to say I wasn't expecting to like this, and the original is brilliant. And uh, but like it's the same kind of thing there the whole lot. And I like Jill and so far, so I'm looking forward to this. Well, he's well capable, like, and uh, he's done some great roles. A little known fact, Paul, uh, for some of the viewers as well. Here's a little Easter egg. A little known fact. Mm. Conor McGregor is obviously it's his first debut acting film yeah can you tell me who was the highest paid first debut acting actor ever I can't man The Rock and he got 5.5 million the highest he was coming from the WWE so that that was the highest paid was it the Scorpion King or the Scorpion or the Mummy or something was it oh which one was it I think it might have been that no it was before the Mummy was it yeah it was before the Mummy don't ask me what film it was. Well, but, yeah. Yeah, 5.5 million he got, so he's the highest debut actor ever, right? Conor McGregor is now officially the highest debut actor. Earning, now, they don't, they're not giving a specific number. Yeah. But we've been told it's between 6 to 10 million, just for this movie alone. Well, you see, bringing him in would get a crowd in. Getting all the Irish in, guaranteed. It's not just the Irish, the Americans, because the the Mexican lads would are the whole lot. Like he does have a fan base across. We yes, he does bring a big, huge Irish support, and I wouldn't be surprised if there's going to be a couple of cameos from UFC fighters. There is Dana White is going to make sure that this shows the UFC. But I have to say, when he goes for the when Jill Hall goes for the way in. That is the way it goes. But that's not... That's everything feel... There's a, it gives a nice reality to it. Did you not see the behind the scene on that? Clip? No, no. And that's there's a, a behind the scene on it where Conor McGregor actually came out on the stage on one of the fights, on I one of, the, that, one of yeah. the, the way-ups, and I turned around and said, look, we're shooting the film Roadhouse right now. These are all in it. Just need you to be calm. Blah, 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 all this. Put all the backdrops, the backdrops in the background of it yeah. behind Jake Gyllenhaal. Had Jake Gyllenhaal come in way yeah, up yeah, and all yeah, yeah. had the other actor come in way up and all uh, and then had the two of them go at each other so they had the, real UFC the, fa- yes, fans yes, there looking yeah, at him yeah, yeah. saying oh yeah 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 getting yeah. hyped so they weren't getting extras in trying to explain it yeah. to them or anything yeah that's that's class it was now. all real everything, everything you see it was really uh, it was it's it, it's, so it's not even <laughs> the cinema it's Amazon uh, video Amazon video yeah so alright uh, alright uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to give it a watch. And now, we'll probably give it a I review. I have a question now. Because I know Terry McMahon kind of uh, coached, uh, did acting coaches for Seamus. Because he was in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah. I'm sure if they were giving them that sort of money, they would have had to, had to uh, get an acting coach in with them. You wouldn't know because let's, let's be honest, like Connor is a bit of a, a, a good comedic actor in a sense do you know what I mean well he, he, he but of course I'd say someone's kind of put a, a mouth to his ear and saying look you don't a little get to bit go of off this, the lines a little bit of this and a little bit of that do you know what I mean or and they that, just said come in and be the worst self of your yeah self 
come in here and just smash everything up. That's probably what they said to him, and that's why he's over there smashing everything up. So I'll give him credit. Like well, that. hell, he did it in real life. He was a bit of a better doctor with the bus, wasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Khabib is in there. Go get him. <laughs> but no, this actually looks really well. I, I, think, I think I'll think give it a go. I'll, I'll definitely give that I'm a go. I'm definitely going to give it a watch. I'll go give it a watch. Um, Shall see what you think? As I said, if leave I, your opinion on Leave your it. opinion. I kind of thought when I heard, I couldn't tell McGregor in the film what way are they doing it, but he's basically playing a little version of himself. Yeah. So we'll see. But I have to say, the fight choreograph was, was exceptional. Say, it looks really well. And as I said, because uh, I, I remember like that, that the big thing with John Wick was they were coming. Uh, mixing kung fu and jiu jitsu yes. to create another style, yeah. and that's one thing recently I've been looking at that you know choreography is inf influenced by the martial arts and the fighting, yeah. and to get that MMA style in looks really cool. And I have to say, Gyllenhaal really put the work in to get into shape for it. Yeah, and but Conor, I know he is a fitness fanatic, but uh, even Conor McGregor did. did, did, did like he, if you didn't know that was Jake Gyllenhaal, and you were just watching lineups coming up different fighters, I wouldn't have said that's a Hollywood actor. No, not a chance. So, yeah, I, I think it's one to watch. Yeah, as I, um, said, as I said, leave your opinions underneath. Let us know what you think. And, and, and also, you've got the added bonus, right? The Gyllenhaal will be doing his PR. McGregor's going to milk this. He's going to milk this. Oh, yeah. He's going to be on... Uh, He's going to be on all the shows promoting it. He's going to be this. He's going to be doing this. And like you do forget when you watch the original Rocky films. Who did he have in it? Hulk Hogan. Yes. The big stars are coming from the MMA now. Even I remember uh, Rampage Jackson was saying when he started, when he was fighting, fighting forced MMA, it was f paying bills. Yeah. Now it's t a thing to be famous. Sean O'Malley, so Sean O'Malley and other characters like that. So it's a different game. But I'm actually looking forward to it. And if it if 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 it keeps some of the charm of the original, there'll be guilty fun in it. I think it might even be a bit better. Oh, it'd be probably better. Which which you know, I mean, some people say it's sacrilegious to say anything could be better. But, <laughs> but but the thing is the thing is like they know people want to see action. So they've they're giving you the action. Yeah. You know, sometimes like you can do the whole Hulk thing with Ang Lee and kind of down the action. Yeah. And kind of try to get too sophisticated with it. And you say, it's a Hulk film, man. You know what I mean? But I'm looking for, I like the looks of it. So listen, if you, whatever you think, give us a show. Um, we might disagree with you. We might agree with you. And there might be something else we haven't yes. thought of. Yes. Um, who and and then uh, here's an, uh, another bonus one. Out of any the next UFC fighters, any of the UFC fighters, who would you like to see in a movie? Ooh, ooh, put your list down below. That's a, that's not a bad list question. I like that part. That was cute. Yeah, I Sean Strickland on camera could be good. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> whether he'd stick to the lines I don't know <laughs> <laughs> but yeah look it's looking good man um, it's looking good so um, don't forget to like share, share and subscribe. don't forget to subscribe, subscribe. And don't forget to leave comments underneath let us know how you feel so thanks for watching best look bye